Hi, I'm Rebecca Brand, and this video is about bringing birds to live right by you, right in front of your window. I reached out to NatraCure to sponsor this video because I do a lot of arm reaching up and down in order to get those bird habitats just the way they need to be so I can enjoy looking at them. It hurts my shoulders, so I like a little rest and relaxation as I'm watching my little birdie view. Birds are everywhere outside, but since the pandemic, I wanted to have more relaxation with more nature right near me. And sitting there on the computer so many hours, I wanted a better view out my window. And I thought maybe there'd be a way that I could bring the birdies right to me. I could enjoy them from the comforts of my own home. Every bag of bird food I get is about 15 to 20 pounds each. And I have to lug it from feeder to feeder. And look at all these empties. That tells you, oh my gosh, I go through 100 pounds of bird food every couple of weeks. Bird seed's pretty cheap though, so it's well worth it to enhance my life inside doing my work. The food's worth it. All that reaching though really does something to my neck and shoulders. And that's why I reached out to NatraCure. You can really pull the muscles and feel it in your shoulders. They've made this amazing spa shoulder wrap. This is how it goes on and it has a great Velcro closing on it so it stays secure. I put it in my microwave on high for one minute. So I shake it and if I want it warmer, I'm gonna stick it back in the microwave for maybe 30 more seconds. And you can keep doing that up into two minutes. Every microwave varies as to the wattage it has. So you just have to figure out what's the best temperature for you. For me, that's a minute and a half to two minutes because I like it really hot. The shoulder up has an outer fabric that's made of poly fleece and that gives me some extra warmth. The air pockets in the fabric trap the heat and that provides a longer lasting warm therapy. It's such a spa experience that I get to have at home. The poly fleece is so soft and it's smooth against my skin. It feels so cozy on my neck and my body. Can you hear that? <laughs> That's the silica beads inside and they draw the water vapor from the air that holds in the moisture and it releases it over a long time. So I don't have to keep running to the microwave. It's gonna stay warm. I love that this fabric is so breathable and the closure keeps it right on my shoulders where I want it. It's not gonna fall off. And NatraCure chose to use silica beads as their interior for their shoulder wrap versus other organic fibers that would not have held the heat and been as long lasting for that warmth spa feeling at home. I've got a few things going on. I got the hummingbirds and I have the other birds, the songbirds, the house finches. This whole bird circus I have going on didn't just happen overnight. Once I figured this out, I just started adding to my collection. It is so easy to make hummingbird food in your kitchen. And this is my recipe. You need sugar. And to have a clean kitchen, I gotta store things. So I'm spending a lot of time doing all these things for my little Tweety Birds. And the hummingbirds like pure sugar. But they have a little recipe that's very important to them. And I'm gonna tell you what that is. It is so simple, anybody can make it. Every feeder takes a recipe of four cups of water, tap water. And usually I will do double, triple, quadruple batches because I've got so many feeders around my house. Look at these hummingbirds. They go nuts for my hummingbird feeder recipe. This is a standard recipe, but that's the only one they like and the healthiest one for them. And this is the recipe and it's so easy to memorize. It is one cup of sugar dumped in those four cups of water and you have to stir it up until that sugar dissolves. Because if you don't stir that up, what happens is that sugar is all gonna get stuck at the bottom and it's gonna be syrupy and icky. Unless it's homogeneous by the time you stick it in, you're gonna turn off a few hummingbirds. They're gonna say, that's too sweet, I can't handle that. And you don't want it. You want those little birdies to be happy with every little sip of that recipe. If you have a hummingbird feeder that has this red color, you don't have to worry, that's all you need for the recipe. 
If your hummingbird feeder is clear glass, they will not go to clear. They go to red. So you've got to add a couple drops of red food coloring and stir that around. It might be red dye number five. I just don't know what to say about that, but I've got a trick. This one is very hard to fill because of the odd shape. So I put a cloth down my garbage disposal and I stick it in. And then I pour in the recipe, but if I don't trust the shot, I use a funnel. And this holder holds about 38 ounces. Well, 32 is all it's getting today. Because that's my four cups. And this is gonna last me about two weeks. I wouldn't wanna go any longer, because sometimes it can get some algae or mold in it. <sighs> and then you'll have to clean it. And hummingbirds go for red all the time. So bird feeders often have little red flowers. So pop on the base and screw on the bottom. Not too tight. Flip it over. And I had cleaned this really good today. So it's nice and clean for my little birdies. And I'm popping on the little red feeder flowers. This is an ant moat, which is helpful because I used to get ants that would cover the whole thing. So this keeps the ants from getting into the little bird food. Otherwise they go inside and crawl up and go into my beautiful recipe and mess it up for those hummingbirds. And the ant moat will need some water, which I'll do outside. All of my little pets take a whole lot of time, but it's time I give them with joy and love. What I once would have to stand and look outside and spend time in my yard doing, which was lovely, I've now managed to figure out how to bring them to my window where it's more convenient for me to watch them especially since I'm spending so much more time at home working. You might be working a lot at home too, and this is such a fun way to bring nature to you. All that fluttering about with the birds, and I can't believe they really go through all that food, but they do. Well, then I go underneath the bush and I see how much is wasted. Oh well, I mean, you know, I guess they're not very neat when it comes to their eating habits. So every now and again, I rake it up and look at this. This is the Milo. All those little Milo seeds from that wild bird food falls down to the ground and is now growing its own little crop. Well, it's gonna get cut by the lawnmower. It's not gonna seed itself, but there you go. <laughs> the seeds are replanting themselves. And now after feeding all those birds and all the things it takes to keep my house running during pandemic, I can just sit on my bed, work on my computer, even though I'm hunched over, but I can be wearing my shoulder wrap and enjoying the view I brought to my workspace right outside my window. Ah, to be so comfortable at home with NatraCure's warming shoulder wrap. My life is better. No spa needed. Self-care is so important for me emotionally as I look out the window to the little habitats. Look at those little bird houses. I'm hoping in the spring they make babies. I hung all those outside my window. I wanna be able to see them when spring arrives and they lay eggs. It's been a fascinating journey. I started just with those hummingbird feeders. I put a couple up there. Oh man, there was competition. There was this one hummingbird. He was like big daddy. He wouldn't let the other ones come and drink out of the feeder. Oh, and then there was a bee. What the heck? This little bee didn't want the hummingbirds around. They were all fighting for territory. I even installed a bird bath and that takes a lot of effort. I've got to clean it, get the dirty water out, and then I have to fill it with the hose. Oh wow, it's a lot of work keeping my little bird world going around. That hose is heavy. I have to pull it across my yard and then I fill that bird bath. It's quite interesting because Mr. Crow, from my window I can see plays with that solar fountain. Well that crow will get in there and he will toss it up in the air. Really? If it wasn't for me putting all this stuff outside the window, I would never know. There is so much drama in nature. So when Mr. Crow has had his fun and he's tired of that trick, he moves on and then other little birdies come and they have fun splish splash taking a bath. The feeding is extensive. I have so many birds coming to my bird feeders that I even bought these books. I wanted to study and figure out what little birdies were in that feeder. This little guide was handy too. My birds are one of the silver linings of the pandemic. Apparently, all those little birds there are house finches. I've got purple ones, red ones, yellow ones, striped ones. There's like 20 different varieties that come right to that feeder. It is so much lifting to take care of those birds. 
every one of those little house feeders takes about four cups of bird seed, which means those two in front of that one window will be eight cups of feed. And then downstairs, I get a lot of action. Check out this feeder. They go through at least a full feeder every single day. Look at all of them. They're thrilled. And that means I get to see my little birdies. There's been so many days during the pandemic that I've just sat at my computer, doing my thing, managing my YouTube channel. And in my peripheral vision, I see the birds. And I see them all day long having their little bird parties. Those house finches have totally taken the scene. That's about 40 to 50 birds for any three to five minutes of bird feeding time. And they fly away and I think more come and take their little visit. Oh, and they get into social interaction at the feeding trough. It was very simple to hang them. I just use little teacup hooks and the top of the little wood at the edge of my house on the overhang. They say you can't put hummingbirds and bird finches together, that there's just gonna to be too much territory. Well, my window space is just so big. I was forced to do it all and have my own little experiment. They don't care. They figured out how to get along. Can't we all just get along? And if you've been watching my channel for a while, y'all know I spent a lot of time in my kitchen. So having the bird feeders, the hummingbird feeder, and the seed bird feeders at my kitchen window has been completely rewarding every single day when I go make my coffee. There they are. It is such joy. And the birds are getting so friendly, they're even coming in my house to visit me. Oh my gosh. So going from a couple of hummingbird feeders and bringing the hummingbirds in and then adding bird food seeds has led to just an amazing indoor life for this new way of working in the world from home. I hope that might inspire you to give it a shot where you live and let me know what you've done with nature during this time to bring some joy that you may not have thought of. What silver linings do you have? Click the link below in the description box to get NatraCure Shoulder Wrap. Check that out. I love all their products. They got all the spa stuff. So you can take care of yourself at home. Make a comment, let me know. Have you found some silver linings during the pandemic? It really helps this video to be seen by more people. If you comment, you like the video, you may subscribe to my channel, all those things to get this message of hopefully some inspiration and some ideas. Let me know what ideas you have. Maybe I can incorporate some of your ideas in my life. I'd love to know them. I'm Rebecca Brand, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell right at the top of my channel to get notified of the next video. And let's keep making great recipes in life, like a recipe to feed the birds, <laughs> as the case may be. <sighs> yeah, what of you? If you like this video, here's some more of some nature stuff. Maybe you'll like those too.